first off, these posters are f***ing beautiful. They're f***ing beautiful. I will not- I will not stand by while these things get in, like... The pansexual poster is a f***ing thing of utter beauty, are you kidding me? The bi poster! It's nice, it's not as nice, so I'm gonna be honest. I kind of prefer pansexuality just because of the poster colors. The trans poster is probably the most beautiful of all the posters. It's such beautiful colors, they play together so well. But they're all gorgeous. I don't see how you can take it. like... Y'all... Y'all designed the straight pride parade poster. I saw those, okay? I saw what happens when the straights are left to... to artistic... artistic sensibilities. Sure. Anyways, hey, over the weekend in the UK, uh, friend of the show, Sophie, uh, they go by they, them pronouns, aka Curio, uh, went to speak at a trans pride rally, and I'm sure that uh, our good friend Mr. Sargon of Akkad has some enlightening things to say about the topic. On uh, August the 6th, there was a protest outside of Downing Street in London, in which a group of obviously sane people got together for a protest. This was uh, organised... Already off to a lovely start. ...by someone called Laura Kate Dale, as they uh, tweeted out. Uh, August 6th, 1pm, Downing Street, London, myself and various others, uh, organising a trans rights protest. Trans people and allies would love to see you there. They post all the information. And uh, and yeah, so this this was the the big thing that they kicked off with. We can get to the next one. Uh, we're told what they're protesting. And so they were protesting the failure of the UK Equalities Minister to safeguard minority groups. The importance of conversion therapy bans, not including exceptions. I'm sure, there's not a lot of conversion therapy well, they, they, going they, on. Over well, here. well, you know, this is this is weird because conversion therapy, as I understand it initially, was that you know if you if you were if you were gay, yeah, um, and you, for instance, you were a member of a church, a Christian sort of yeah. church. Sounds um, like an American thing, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it, it yeah. It was probably not a great idea to take your gay your gay church member along to a, an exorcism and have, have them cast the de have them yeah. cast the gay out of them. Fair. Okay, yeah. so but now in this strange manipulation of words, um conversion therapy means I'm not gonna lie, that's more progressive than I expected to hear on the Lotus Eaters. For him to just be like, Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Any attempt to try and persuade a, a child or, or or an adult even that um, chopping off their willy uh, or their breasts is a good idea. That perhaps perhaps therapy might be good. Perhaps talking about it, you know, and trying to realign your thought life with your body life. But no, that seems is conversion a, it seems therapy. Seems transphobic to me. Yeah, yeah, chopping bits off. Yeah, and causing irreparable, irreversible it damage to a there human body. Mm. And that's the norm. Trying to there talk it about it and trying to get people to come to terms, you know, with their body. With what they that are. That is yeah. conversion therapy. So there right. you go. So that, that definition has been massively expanded. Uh, they're also protesting the current media backlash against the trans community, the unacceptable wait times for trans healthcare in the UK, and the UK government's constant platforming of anti-trans groups. Yeah, right. So, well, okay, let's just talk about this backlash. Yeah, go on. What backlash? Don't you know. can't open a newspaper without there being some celebration mm -hmm. of trans this or trans that. I mean, I'm not very familiar with UK media uh, as well as I am with, say, American and Canadian media, that's for sure. But anytime I check out The Independent or The Guardian, it doesn't usually seem to be something that's just like, hey, this is just a wonderful day, you know, the birds are chirping, trans people are happy, everyone's having a wonderful, splendid time time the world is perfect perfect sunshine lollipops and crisps there is no backlash it exists purely in their imagination well yeah i mean especially not in the media i guess that there are pe probably people on social media who are saying well look i have questions about this uh those sort of people who have non-crime hate instance to their name yeah but, but that's but, what happens you see when, yeah. when, when you can frame a question yeah as hate then you mm. find hate everywhere now get this the college of policing they're 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 their guidance on hate mm -hmm. says that a reduction on hate crime is not an appropriate target. Uh, hold on, come again. What are they trying to do then? Precisely, that's what it says, because it could be demotivated right, to staff. That's what it says in the College of Police well, guidance so about much. hate. That the reduction Appreciate of hate that, right, is not Rob. an appropriate target because it can demotivate your officers. So what, what is actually happening is the College of Policing is a national hate factory on behalf of every lunatic ideology mm -hmm. under the sun because of course they need to keep promoting this this idea of 
hate if the, and manufacturing hate in order to keep the police on side and in order to keep you and I suppressed. And not, not only that, it's for their own careers, isn't it? If, the, if this isn't a deeply hateful country and there's hate everywhere, then why do they have a job? Yeah, you know? exactly. that's why they hated Lawrence, because you yeah. know, Lawrence Fox says, we're the most tolerant country in the world, yeah. we, and we really are. Yeah, yeah. We really are, but they don't want to hear that. They don't mm. want to know about the fact that we are, in fact, very, very tolerant. They don't even see the reduction of hate well, as, as, as a legitimate... Yeah. Talk. Can you imagine if that was the murder guidance, the national <laughs> murder guidance? Do not consider murder to be a legitimate... The reduction of murder to be a legitimate aim because it might, it, it, it might demotivate staff. What are they on about? It's absurd. Yeah. Absolutely absurd. Right. So they've got some demands for the government. Uh, they want uh, transgender and non-binary healthcare to be overhauled and reformed. Uh, obviously, this means give them more money. Uh, they say it is vital for transgender, non-binary and gender diverse minors who are explicitly confirmed to have the right to Gillick competency, which means to access gender therapy and medical treatment without the requirement of parental. All right, as much as I want to listen to two old people blather about the transphobia, I wanted to hear their opinions on the actual rally itself. To uh, tell, teach the police about their white supremacy. So, <sighs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Clearly, no crime whatsoever in North Yorkshire. I mean, that's clearly not just indoctrinating the police with racist, woke ideology. Uh, we actually we actually have a clip. Let's play the first clip. This is uh, at the protest itself that was taken by Andy No. Women are women. Trans women are women. Trans men are men. Trans men are men. Non-binary people are non-binary. Non-binary people are non-binary. Not at all like a cult, that is it? I was literally about to say that. That's 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 exactly not what I would expect from a cult. Uh, <laughs> it's very moderate, reasonable, and doesn't give me really creepy vibes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so th this deeply concerning, and there was a bit of a bit of a hoo ha about uh, one participant. In fact, you can see them there. That was uh, dressed in a baby costume. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that I think this is what we call um, age play. I don't think we're ever going to get to the speech, or do they even let them speak? No, it's just outrage at the look how many posters they have. Isn't it crazy? Just a unicorn. First off, these posters are fucking beautiful. They're goddamn beautiful. I will not. I will not stand by while these things get in. Like the pansexual poster is a fucking thing of utter beauty. Are you kidding me? The bi poster. It's nice. It's not as nice. So I'm going to be honest. I kind of prefer pansexuality just because of the poster colors. The trans poster is probably the most beautiful of all the posters. Such beautiful colors. They play together so well. But they're all gorgeous. I don't see how you can take it. Like, y'all y'all designed the straight pride parade poster. I saw those, okay? I saw what happens when the straights are left to, to artistic artistic sensibilities. Should. Um, but uh, the problem with this is, Carl, is is it's so expensive. Mm. You know, who's got a quarter of a million quid lying around yeah, just, to, to challenge the police? Yeah. Who's got that? Who's got that? Mm. And when you when you have the judiciary captured, when you have the police captured, and when you have um, politicians pushed aside yeah. in favour of experts. What are we living in? What are we living in? So I am entirely for the rule of law, and that's why we call ourselves mm. Fair Cop, because mm -hmm. we believe in the police. I went down the judicial review route because mm. I still believe in the judicial system. But we it can't go on, Carl. It simply mm. can't go on. There's gonna, there, there comes a breaking point. Mm -hmm. No, I completely agree with you. Uh, and this, this is the sort of thing that they're putting into the minds of kids. If we can play the next clip, uh, this, this just... I found this hilarious. This is a 14-year-old person. But if we focus on educating young people, you're still not tackling the root of the problem. People that grew up in an even worse time for minorities than it is now. So no, maybe it's not their fault. But we can at least stop them from spreading these, their views that they're obviously not ashamed of onto their children and the youth of today. On the face of it, maybe I can see why Bob's mum feels that way. In my new school, there are over four other trans people in my year, which is certainly a higher proportion than at that school I went to before. But the way I see it, it's not because more people are trans or it's a phase, it's because young people don't have to hide who they are like they used to. Well, whenever a child says, this isn't a phase, mum... That means it's a phase. It's definitely a phase. Yeah, it, yeah, it's definitely a phase. But uh, but this is this is what they're doing. They're turning children into moral legislators. Uh, I don't take lectures from fourteen-year-olds on anything. 
<laughs> not, not, you, not yeah, the right. weird. That I'm such a man, you see, such a man that I don't listen to children. Children don't tell me what to do. No, I'd rather listen to you, sir. Yes, you, the creepy old man across from me, staring deeply at my coffee mug, wondering what liquids you can fill it with at any given time. You, sir, I trust, yes, implicitly with my life. I'll grant you that. That isn't it, you know. Yeah. So, the, but this is the, this is what they're doing. They're little child soldiers for their mission. Um, but yeah, so this, and you can see here if we can get the so. At the end of the day, we've brought up the stats multiple times that the amount of children who regret uh, taking hormone therapy and uh, transitioning, the ones who are actually interested in DNA transitioning, are less than 0.05%, which would mean, again, that they are advocating very firmly for a minority of people, which in turn is going to effectively uh, create a very toxic atmosphere for the members of the trans community, especially trans kids. Um, I think it's a beautiful thing if, uh, you know, teenagers, children want to have the bravery to tell their story and to make other people feel safe in the process. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And honestly, I don't understand why you would want to vilify it. Uh, is, is this like the digital version of are we going to look past this? It, hopefully, I would say if if we survive as a species 50 years into the future, this is going to be the same as people who were like, you know, throw, white people who were throwing uh, milkshakes on black patrons uh, uh, during like Jim Crow laws, you know, people who were actively trying to uh, engage in bigotry in their era. And now all of a sudden it's it's just like their cause du jour. Um, and it's it's really sad at the end of the day this picture up this is completely endorsed by the police this is the met police i, can see, I don't know whether you can see on their on their breast there they've got the racial pride yeah. flag yeah so it's the pride flag with the the black line on it yeah. to say that race is somehow a sexuality uh and that's unacceptable they, well, may, yeah, as well, it, they may as well be wearing a swastika exactly it's it's <laughs> it's this deeply intersectional mm. thing and i see that um sex workers now Wait, have got what? its own position on the intersectional flag by way of a a, a red umbrella oh, uh, is that just... what that was yeah 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 i yeah, thought yeah. that was an anus no, well <laughs> <laughs> it might well be in your... well, yeah. i mean i'm not judging I, I, nothing yeah, wrong with that, but it, like... it's endless because they have to they have to keep adding yeah. more and more and yeah. more to this spaghetti junction of oppression mm. um and that's absolutely fine let the lunatics loop the spaghetti junction of oppression. You've got, to play, you've got to play this. Okay, go on. We'll play this last clip because I haven't seen this one. So uh, let's watch. This is one Liverpool Stand Pride. Right, Stand right, Have marched in Pride with Pride for a number... You know what's interesting is both the left and the right don't like when the police do this on both sides. That's, that's one comment for completely different reasons. For them... They're worried that the police, the military, whatever, they're getting woke. For us, we feel that it's hollow and hypocritical. And it's, it's it's just basically you're waving the flag while at the same time you're going to massively incarcerate and potentially harm these individuals. So it's 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 anger coming for completely different reasons. Number of years, and we'll continue to do so in uniform representing Merseyside Police. I pledge to increase inclusivity by challenging negativity in all its forms. I pledge to continue to promote pronoun awareness, continue to ensure that Merseyside Police is a fantastic and inclusive place to work for everybody, no matter how you identify. I pledge to bring about greater understanding of what it means to be intersex. I pledge to encourage colleagues to use gender neutral terms. I pledge to enable everybody that attends occupational health to be themselves. I pledge to continue to support the LGBT plus community within Merseyside. Well, I can tell that Sargon's having a hell of a time. Having a hell of a time. I guess... Like, I assume this is going to be his resident uh, glinner whenever he needs someone to come on to be able to talk about these kind of issues and vilify trans people. All in all, I mean, from the speeches I saw, big props goes out to Sophie. I think they did an excellent job um, 
go watch it if you have time. They posted it on their Twitter. Also, go check out uh, their YouTube channel. Uh, it's also excellent. And, yeah. Hasn't been aging well. Doesn't look healthy at all. Well, they've been eating a lot of lotus plants. There's that. And also, bigotry will will take its toll. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want movies and sur surfs watching the movies? So then come over to the new channels. It's the surfs the cinema. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Can you do the thing? You know that uh, thumbs up and comment and all those things that help us out in the algorithm that controls every aspect of our lives. Also, if you happen to have a Facebook account, um, can you can you delete it? Like just just delete it. You should probably delete your Facebook account because it's just. It's not a great company, but hey, if you can't do that for whatever reason, I understand. And uh, could you also go to facebook.com slash the surf times then and uh, give us a little like and a follow. We're just trying to push back against the fact that people like Ben Shapiro happen to dominate the platform entirely. And when everyone asks, why do older generations believe the things they believe? One of the problems is the majority of them on social media use Facebook. So to counter that, uh, we're just going to be on there too now. Also, if you happen to have a union or a worker co-op or even a leftist project podcast website, Zoom MySpace, it doesn't matter. We will advertise it for free on this channel. All you got to do is go to wearesurfs.com and use the forms that we got there, wearesurfs.com. Thanks, everybody. To our gods, Tigro and Peyton L. Juice, we pray to you, our Sky Daddies, to keep us safe from harm. To our monarchs, Tom Spiker and the Tim Caucus, we shall humbly clean your golden toilets in your spatial palaces. To our lords, Ultra Wolf, Eva Nudie, Trevor R., Alexander Thaler, Ryan Lubin, and Jeff Lamb, we are eternally grateful for this small segment of land for us to toil and work. To our knights, Ariane McCarthy, Daniel Sutton, Ants Are Still Running the World, Coulter Smith, Val 9000, Jenna Tall, Dark Puppy, Quiet185, Anna Loves Riley, Omni, Riley and Anna, Poodlehawk, Ultimondi, Trevor Janice, Lemmy101, Anthropophojack, Sharon42, Chronic to Hemphog, Catherine, Bone Jenny, Radical Maniac, Ramona Costa, Jimmy Big Nuts, Violent Orchard, Sophie Baby, Political Puppy, Andreas Chiringuito, Zach Christensen, Joe B, Josh Mickelson, Todd Buckingham, and Todd Lajeunesse. We raise our glasses, we raise our swords, and we salute you, our friends. And to Lance, you are the wind beneath my wings. <laughs>